your boy Mo C, Mr. 20 View King and everything I do get 20 View. Follow me now if you won't get on. All right, we listen. Mo Cephas 9 Music Monday. We throwing a real curveball out here. Monday is the wild card day pretty much for this channel. It's, uh, we, we, we do Wednesdays is Patreon donation situation. Fridays is live requests. Um, and Mondays, either I'm not doing it <laughs> or it's, it's going to be a list of, of requests or it's going to be an album review. Or it's going to be something else, man. It's going to be a wild card day. And today we picked a, 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 a composite list of non-musical videos how about that youtube non-musical videos on youtube how's that how's that seem how's that seem to y'all uh, i wonder if y'all gonna rock with this uh probably not it's gonna get 20 views like usual all right but um this is ryan stout a new diet some more stand-up comedy We've done like three or four stand-up comedy joints tonight maybe five um it's pretty short uh check this out man weird diets that are out there now awful diets that like ruin your body but oh look i'm thin isn't this great <laughs> <laughs> things like atkins oh the meat and cheese diet that must Number be atkins. phenomenal look at me i look great on the outside i'm bleeding on the inside but this <laughs> this is what matters right Thumb. what diet do you want oh, i just take a glass of water put in some great bee maple syrup and some cayenne pepper stir that up you can drink as much of that as you want don't eat anything just drink that for like 12 13 days straight and then you'll poo the <laughs> rainbow and you'll be thin <laughs> and that's what matters and it makes me wonder like what are we willing to give up just to be thin what are we willing to give up so i've developed my own diet it's based on this theory that sex is some of the best exercise you've heard that right right Yes, and that is why I have developed the sexual assault diet. Now, basically, okay. what it is, it's fitness-motivated rape. Now, hear me out. You're going to oh, find wow. a target. He You're going to chase there. them down. That's going to get the he cardio going, all right? And then there's the struggle. The struggle. That's going to work the buys, the tries, the pecs, the quads. It's a resistance workout, hmm? Have you heard of isometrics? Good. Then you've got the actual sex to burn calories, and then there's a little post-rape jog. It's like a half sprint, you know what I mean? <laughs> Away from the scene of the crime. Oh. And I do not condone, like, a pill in someone's drink or a rag with ether. Not only is it rude, <laughs> but the only person you're really hurting is yourself. Hey, exactly. You can't really... It's 2011. I guess you could still joke about rape. Uh, I never found jokes like that funny. It's hard to laugh at. Like, even if it is funny, it's like, yeah, you don't describe it well. Like, the the, the 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 punchline jokes like this is always like, oh, yeah, how do you know all that, you know? It's like, no, I don't, how do you know all that? Like, it's not funny. Like, the, the consequence to the joke is not funny enough. Like, jokes like when he, when he knows about, like, somebody that knows about, like, corny shit. Like, this isn't, a, anyway, I, mean, I take shit too seriously. I get it. I get it. I get it, guys. Now, if you stick with the diet long enough, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Suck You're the gonna fun go out of life. You're going to jail. And in jail, people are going to be chasing you. Okay. And you have to fight them off. You're on the other side of the diet, see? And then someone's having sex with you, and you're crying, and I'm sure that... burns a few calories. And then you're stressed out. You're worried because it might happen again. Anxiety, appetite suppressant. That's a fact. That's science. Look that up. So you're in jail, you're stressed out, you're crying, but at least you'll be thin. I hope you're not clapping at rape. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> Real awkward. Comedy's difficult sometimes because uh, people are out there, they're drinking, they only hear the words one time, they're forced to make an assumption. And then I'm out there after the show, people come up to me with things to say. Things like, oh, raping women for exercise. Nah. <laughs> and I have to go, uh, who said anything about women? <laughs> I said, you go out, you find a target, you chase them down. Whatever's going on in your head, that's all you, freak. <laughs> Why did you make a woman the victim? Hmm? 
<laughs> Maybe because you think women are powerless, you're a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's clever how you turned that around. I love how some people pretend they're comedy experts because they saw it one time on TV and they're like, ah, oh, that looks like something I understand. And so they come up with like cliche sayings. They just rattle them off. Things like, oh, well, you cannot joke about rape. Well, you'll be glad to know, relieved to know that uh, I wasn't joking. <laughs> He's like, uh, I forget the other dude that does that, the fake scenarios. Like it is like about a very rape. obscene stuff. That was stuff. a joke about dieting. All right, that was Ryan Stout, a new diet. It was a joke about rape, dude. It was a joke about rape, and he did it pretty, he did it pretty well. As, <laughs> as best well as you could do a joke about rape. Oh, my God. What a night we're having, huh? All right, y'all. Let's get that one out of here. Likes, comment, subscribe, share sometimes.